Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, it's been a been a long summer. Been away. I've been busy doing stuff and um, going to a bunch of meats and flea markets. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. Um, one particular flea market I went to, which is unusual, but I found a 2065 and the tender. The engine's in the, uh, I'll show you the box in a minute back there. Uh, this is a 6026W coal tender. Um, I was amazed. <laughs> they're, they're in very good shape. A um, little history on the 2065, um, just to give you a little background. The uh, 2065 was made in 1953 to 1956. Um, during that four-year run of making them, producing them, uh, they made, um, what was it, nine different types, nine different sets, seven of which were the freight sets, I'm not sure exactly what cars came with those. Sorry. <laughs> um, and um, two of the sets were passenger sets. And they actually made a four-car passenger set, which I was unaware of until just a little bit ago, um, trying to do my research on it. Um, I happen to like this engine myself. Uh, number one, because it's got the um, the external overhead um water heater tank i think it's cool always like that look on these engines i always thought it was just a neat neat little ad that they put on these um i like them when this is running it does have magnet traction it does have smoke of course it has the e-unit um right there headlight What's really neat is these two little buggers right there, that one and that one. They light up uh, when it's going around. It does produce a nice smoke, smoke pow of just everything. Um, there's a box, a set box that came with it, 2065. There's our tender. Uh, there were two types of tenders they sent out with these, uh, streamlined and this box type. As I said before, this is a 6026. The other one was a 2046. I think, yes, 2046. Okay. Uh, two come out with, they made actually two different types. There were, when I say type, that doesn't include the passenger cars or the freight cars, but the engines were issued with. Two of the other ones, streamlined type, don't have that one here right now. And one with this one here. Um, they're neat. They're cool. Uh, thing to look for on these is make sure the steps are on them. They have these little brittle little steps on these things. See them right there? And right there. What happens a lot of times, the coupler... Uh, this is, It'll swing over and smack off of that and just break it off, okay? That's how they, most times, in, in my opinion, they get broken off. Um, the engine itself, very robust. A lot of movement in the linkage. When it's going, it, it just has a lot of motion. Eh, I'm on a turntable. And I got one hand on it, so I don't want to push it off here. Uh, one last little cool thing I thought was really neat is when you look underneath the headlight. I'm going to try to adjust this. And I'm going to try to zoom in. There it is. There it is. Underneath there. Whoa. Whoa. Doesn't want to do it. <laughs> well, you'll see a plate right there. 
Not nah, doesn't want to do it. Doesn't want to cooperate. Oh, there it is. It says Lionel. Stamped real small. It looks like it's just a shelf for the light. But right there is Lionel. Pretty cool. Neat little tidbit for you. Um, and as I said, these are just very, very good engines. They run well. Um, I have no complaints at all on these ones. Um, now, where did I get it? Last week, actually, yeah, last week we were in Ohio at Rogers Flea Market. Just in Rogers, Ohio. It's called Rogers Flea Market. That's what I call it. Look it up on there on the uh, on Google, and it'll get you right there. I find these. I always find something at Rogers that's just cool, neat, interesting stuff. I find that just a lantern. I know, but very nice shape. No big deal. The key is. I paid $60 for this, the two of those, unheard of. I think I paid $8 for this. Just the way it sits, I didn't do anything to it. Also, at Rogers Flea Market, I got that. It's a central machinery belt sander. Um, I think I paid $20 for it and, um, I was standing there looking at it, admiring it. And a lady and her husband come by who have one. They were just so pleased with theirs. And they paid 65 or $70 for it when they, when they bought it, uh, I plugged it in. It's going to work nice for my little structures. And that's a nice little ad for my, uh, Woodworking stuff. I plan on uh, doing a lot of stuff to my layout this coming fall and winter. Uh, we're going to clean off the deck somewhat and put new stuff on it. But So, folks, this is just a couple of neat things from flea markets you can find. I go to a bunch of them, my wife and I. We both enjoy them. We look at other people's stuff, which is always fun. And... Uh, get some cool cool and neat things so once again thanks for tuning in i hope you all enjoyed the video uh, if you have any questions comments or concerns about anything please leave a comment like and share and as always keep them running bye now